I absolutely adored Blythe Spirit and then went on to IMDb to have a quick check for a few facts and was shocked to see that it had an overall average score of 5.3 out of 10. Granted, that's only just over a thousand reviews, but that is shocking. I really, truly loved this film. Now, I have to say, I haven't seen the original. I haven't seen the Noel Coward play. I don't know how it compares. So maybe a lot of people were comparing it. And, you know, if it is a poorer version, that's completely fair enough. But just viewing it as a film on its own, I adored it. This was released in 2020. It's currently available on several streaming sites, not Netflix or Prime, unfortunately. Um, it's directed by Edward Hall, with a screenplay by Piers Ashworth, Ashworth, based, of course, on the play by Noel Coward. And it's got a really great cast. We have Dan Stevens, Isla Fisher, uh, Amelia Fox and Leslie Mann as well, of course, as Judy Dench. And what I loved about this, in fact, there are so many things that I loved about this, but I loved that it was significantly funnier than I thought. I'm a big fan of horror films, but more importantly, I love films about spirits that are funny. I always cite Frighteners as a prime example of how to do that that subgenre. And this is amazing. So I'll read the description from IMDb, which doesn't give any spoilers. And this says, A spiritualist medium holds a seance for a writer suffering from writer's block, but accidentally summons the spirit of his deceased first wife, which leads to an increasing complex love triangle with his current wife of five years. Our spiritualist medium is played by Judy Dench and she is fantastic. She's not in it as much as I thought. I kind of got the impression that she'd be in, you know, every scene or every other scene, but that's certainly not the case. But she's in it a decent amount. Also, with me being a writer, the fact that this is about a writer and I'm a spiritualist, I just, I adored every aspect of this. And also the fact that it's set i believe at the turn of the century just after makes it so beautiful we have some gorgeous scenery beautiful mise on scene fantastic costumes beautiful you know the cars the cars are gorgeous the outfits are fabulous visually it is a real treat the editing is great we have some interesting camera angles certainly when people are up high we have some good um tilting shots it's absolutely f fantastic you know from a cinematic perspective it's amazing the narrative is sensational so basically as that suggested he's trying to write a screenplay but he decides to get some inspiration from well through a spiritual medium and this, his wife is summoned elvira played by leslie mann absolutely love elvira as a character and she decides that she actually still wants to be with Charles Condamine, played by Dan Stevens. So she starts to ruin things for his existing wife, Ruth, played by Isla Fisher. And I think you know, what I really liked is that there's a very visual contrast between Elvira and Ruth. One's tall and blonde, one's shorter and, you know, redhead. They're very different women, and on screen, just visually, that works great. Dan Stevens is brilliant. Obviously, Judy Dench is fantastic. I think all round, the casting is incredible. The narrative is amazing. It was very surprising. A lot of great things happened. It's very funny. I can't really say too much, but there are some scenes that are just, just brilliant and that I hadn't expected at all. I will say, without going into too much detail, oh, the, the music as well is absolutely brilliant. Music by Simon Boswell. Costume is by Charlotte Walter. But I have to say the ending, which I won't divulge, I won't actually say what happens, I was kind of on the fence a bit. I think it could have ended a good 10 minutes earlier and it would have been a really satisfying ending. Something did happen right at the end that I thought was, because it was unexpected, I was interested. I thought it was peculiar and different and part of me liked it and part of me didn't. So I watched an hour and a half, truly loved it, absolutely amazing. And then the last five minutes or so, I kind of thought, uh, you maybe have just ruined it slightly. 
but it's absolutely fabulous. It's hilarious. The narrative is very well executed. It's beautifully put together. Visually, it is an absolute treat. The music is gorgeous. 5.3 out of 10 is actually ridiculous. I would have given... I'm giving it an 8. 8 out of 10. Absolutely adored it. Would watch it again. Will watch it again. I will watch the original if I can find it. I'm not sure if it's on any of the streaming sites, but I'll have a look. I had high hopes for Blythe Spirit. I'm very pleased to confirm that it, it definitely did live up to that. <laughs>